Today I'm with Rafik and Philip, the two GNSO counselors who are deeply engaged in PDP 3.0, a project to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of GNSO policy development process. Welcome. So, Rafik, we heard that PDP 3.0 aims to introduce some changes and improvements to how the community can get involved in GNSO working groups. Can you give us some examples? Thanks, Ariel. So, in terms, it's more their improvement to uh, to help um, more participation in the working group and to keep them uh, effective. So, what we have, uh, there are several areas where we try to work on. One of them is to uh, to have a kind of statement of participation, to set the expectation um, and the kind of rules and standard of behavior from those who are participating in the working group. And then uh, we have uh, a skills guide is to help uh, whoever want to be involved in a PDP working group to understand what uh, kind of skills or expectation they, we are looking for to, to participate effectively in those uh, PDP. And on the other hand, uh, we try to work and provide more alternative uh, than just having a working group as a default uh, structure uh, for a PDP and exploring uh, different uh, ways based on uh, experience like the EPDP uh, team uh, itself or also learning from the experience like cross-community working group. So there are a lot of commonalities between those alternative models, but the, the difference is about the representation and uh, um, how the different SO and AC they can participate. So they can still participate, but uh, the selection of those alternate um, alternative model will be based on more uh, the needs and uh, what is uh, necessary uh, for a PDP. Thank you for providing these details. We look forward to how uh, it implement eventually. So, Philip, we know that uh, in the GNSO, the GTLD policies are developed via consensus, but sometimes uh, there may be a performance issue of someone in the working group, a member may feel not being heard, or may disagree with the decision of the working group. Is there a mechanism to address that? Thank you, Ariel. Actually, yes, there is, uh, and that's uh, in the guidelines. The GNSO guidelines, they are an annex to the GNSO operating procedures. And there is a specific section 3.7 in the guidelines that covers the process, the mechanism to address a disagreement of a working group member. And the PDP 3.0 team has been uh, working on enhancing the process. Um, the team has uh, improved the language. And, and it's important that if and when uh, the 3.7 process is started, it doesn't stop the ongoing work of a working group. That's uh, very important, as you said. Um, is there any specific criteria for a, a filing a complaint uh, regarding a disagreement? There are three grounds on which a complaint can be filed. Um, a working group member can be of the opinion that its uh, contribution has been systematically ignored or discounted. Um, it can question, appeal a decision of the working group. And it can be of the opinion that uh, someone in the working group has not been performing its role appropriately. Um, the um, improvements that are prepared by the PDP 3.0 team, they provide some guidelines. And uh, the guidelines are for the working group members and for the leadership. Um, so for the members, they uh, uh, contain some uh, requirements. And for the leadership, they are actually allowed to refuse, um, to reject um, a complaint because the complaint does not address the requirements. And a couple of examples of requirements are as a complaint must be succinct, it must be filed in time, and um, it must be recognized by other people. Uh, they must recognize the circumstances that uh, give a rise to the complaint. Can you give us a little bit more detail how the process goes? When a complaint is filed, the working group leadership is uh, informed, but also the liaison. And they will set up um, a complaint committee that is composed of GNSO counselors. And it will be their first task to address the disagreement and try to bring it to a resolution. And if they are not successful, they can escalate 
uh, the disagreement to uh, the GNSO uh, leadership. And uh, the leadership will then have uh, the task to facilitate the discussions with a view to coming to uh, a resolution. But a member can always bring the matter uh, to the Ombudsman afterwards. Uh, thank you, Philip, for all these details. And uh, so, Rafik, back to you. If um, the, GN the ICANN community want to learn more about PDP 3.0, uh, do they have an opportunity to do that? Yes, for sure. So um, the team is continuing to work on the improvements. And uh, we already communicated to the different uh, GNSO stakeholder group and constituency asking for uh, their input and to uh, expecting that to happen through their uh, council as a liaison. Um, and also we, co we sent uh, letters to uh, the SO and ACs asking uh, their feedback about the specific uh, improvement. We believe that they, it, they are impacting them uh, directly and we want to, to know um, their opinion and what, um, what we, um, we should revise uh, there. So uh, the deadline is the 22nd of November and we are really uh, looking forward to this comment because that will help the team um, to revise and to make any needed changes in the improvement. We see that as continuous improvement and we will continue to, uh, to make any needed adjustment. On the other hand, um, we, have, uh, we will have uh, a public webinar uh, on the 27th of November. We will send more details on a timely manner. And that it will be an opportunity to present uh, the implementation and improvement and explain to uh, the community. Um, we, we are trying to here to be um, open to all. Even we, uh, we first we want the incoming councillor to catch up and to be on board for the work to be done. But this is really for the whole community um, to join that webinar and to see, um, to get that presentation and explanation about the improvement and, and the way to help them to, uh, um, to give their feedback and input. So we will continue that. And and probably we'll explore if there is uh, any need to, to see other uh, venue uh, to get input or comment. Thank you, Rafik and Flip, and I really appreciate your time and uh, hope you have the great rest of your meeting. Thank you. Thank you.